Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio, so today we've got a big update about the Pokemon TCG Classic. Now, I've said this looks like possibly the best product ever. I'm not lying to you or exaggerating or anything silly like that. It genuinely does look like it might actually be the best Pokemon TCG product ever. And until now, there have been two very key pieces of information that we've been missing when trying to talk about this. And that is, what is going on in terms of price? And what is going on in terms of release date? And it seems like we have answers to both of these questions. Now, we need to give a big shout out here to Pokemon TCG Saver over on Instagram, who's gone and found, I mean, I've seen this in a few other places, and this is not the first time we've shared this kind of information on the channel. This is basically upcoming releases from GameStop. And it's always GameStop that seem to do this. This is, like I say, not the first time we've done this in a video where we've been looking at GameStop for upcoming releases. And there's a whole bunch of stuff on there, which looks pretty familiar, honestly. It's, it's basically a bunch of products for Paradox Rift. It's, it's all stuff we would be expecting that's not particularly interesting. What is particularly interesting? I'm not saying Paradox Rift isn't interesting. I'm saying we've talked about that and there's nothing on here which is particularly new or exciting in that regard. What is particularly interesting is that we've got a product coming out on the 3rd of November, which is costing $400. Dollars. Uh, as a side note, 3rd of November is probably re the release date of Paradox Rift. We'll talk about that one more later. But today, we are focusing in on what has to be the Pokemon TCG Classic. Now, as with all of this, we're using information which has been put out there. And it's not perfect information. So there is a possibility that some of this ends up changing or not being true or we're missing a piece of context that actually changes how we would interpret the information. But we don't even have a clue what that could be at this stage, all right? We don't have perfect information. I need you to bear that in mind. However, what else is it going to be? Like there is nothing, and I mean nothing, which is coming, which is even close to a $400 product, like nothing at all. Yes, I am well aware that we've got the Mew Ultra Premium Collection coming from Pokemon Card 151. It looks awesome, but that's like a $150 product. Not, not even close to this. This has to be Pokemon TCG Classic. And of course, we are expecting it late this year. 3rd of November would make sense as a release date. $400 is expensive, but it would make sense as a price. But we do need to compare this to the price it is over in Japan because it doesn't actually match that nicely. Over in Japan, pretty much immediately, we got a proper confirmed price of 35,000 yen. That was actually shown off officially a long time ago. And 35,000 yen comes out with the current exchange rate to $240. Now, recently, the yen has been a little bit weaker. My holiday in Japan and, you know, trip to Japan for worlds, etc. has been cheaper by virtue of the fact that the yen has been a little bit weaker. But still, ladies and gentlemen... This is not, not particularly close, honestly. <laughs> not particularly close. What should be $240 has, in fact, come out at $400. It's going to be up to you guys if you want this or not. And I know that's a terribly obvious statement to make. But the fact of the matter is, this is a very expensive product. I'm not shying away from that. This is an expensive product, and it's one that people are going to have to make that decision of whether it's actually worth picking up for what is a very, very expensive price. Simple as that. Now, the thing I will say is, I did a video a little while ago as to whether it's actually worth the money. I still think it is worth the money. It is a phenomenal product. You know, here's an overview of the product as a whole, but this doesn't really tell the story. Remember, we've got those awesome damage counters, which you actually stack up on top of each other, and there's different colors for different amounts. That's cool. Remember that instead of rolling a dice, you've got a ball that goes down into one of two little holes, one for heads, one for tails, 
which, oh no, four little holes, sorry, two for heads, two for tails, which I think is absolutely stunning. You've got the box, which actually unfolds into a playmat, which is absolutely ridiculous. That's just a really cool touch, honestly. <laughs> um, and then you've got, you know, three entire decks. We've got a Charizard deck, a Blastoise deck, and a Venusaur deck. And they do come in their own deck boxes. And we do have sets of sleeves for them as well. There is a lot of incredibly cool stuff going on here. And now we don't have much in terms of the English and Japanese versions of this. But I do just want to compare, you know, let's look at the Charizard from each of them. They are not exactly the same. You will notice that the Japanese Charizard has full hollow going around the border, etc. and all of that. Whereas the English Charizard still has the old school yellow borders. We might have gone to grey borders now in the main TCG, but this is a reprint of a base set card. It doesn't have that same fancy border. For me, this does make a difference. Now, I, I talk as someone who went to like four lotteries in Japan to try and, you know, get the right to buy this and failed spectacularly. So I don't think I'm getting a Japanese version of this, which is heartbreaking. Hopefully at some point they'll do it made to order. They have done that in the past for some of these fancy products. So I just have to cross my fingers that maybe that can be something that happened later. But as it stands at the moment, we, we don't have this, unfortunately. I, I've not been able to find it. But there is a lot of other cool stuff as well. So within those three decks, we've got a brand new Lugia EX. A Lugia EX we've never seen before. It's a brand new card. And each of the decks have one of these. We've also got a Ho-Oh EX. Yes, having a Ho-Oh EX and a Lugia EX is a great thing. And then we've got a Suicune EX coming in as well. And then let's not forget, you know, we've got these fancy tools that mean that the attacks of the relevant Pokemon do 100 more damage. And they only work on Venusaur, Blastoise and Charizard respectively. But the fact that we get these is very cool. And I do think the artwork on these is absolutely stunning. And certainly over in Japan, if you look at some of the reprinted cards, they look stunning. Look how great this Pikachu looks. Look how great this computer search looks. Look how great... I don't know, chancy looks. These are very, very cool cards. And you'll notice cards like Pikachu, and I could show you Squirtle, I could show you Charmander, I could show you Bulbasaur, you know, the first partner Pokemon. These are common cards, and yet they're coming through with a foil treatment, including the border. If we have a look, let's put the Professor Oak from Japan and from the English version next to each other, because we that's the only other card we've been shown in English. It doesn't look the same. Like, it, it doesn't even remotely look the same here. We don't have that fancy border. And that's genuinely quite upsetting to me. Because I want this cool stuff. And the fact that we're not getting it is rubbish, honestly, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely rubbish. So, yes, I do think it is an amazing product, but we do need to bear in mind, you know, there are some cards we've been shown from the box in Japanese and some we've been shown in English, and the Japanese version is cooler. And I'm not saying you should all go and buy the ridiculous secondary market price Japanese boxes, because the price is going to get ridiculous, but I am telling you this is something I'm bearing in mind. So, it looks like we're finally getting a release. It looks like it's coming on November the 3rd, which looks to be the same release date as Paradox Rift. Once again, this is not confirmed or official or any of that. And it looks like it is costing $400. That is more than we expected. Uh, in Europe, we don't have a price. Honestly, we do see a lot of the time that the, the dollars it has converted straight into pounds because we've got extra shipping, etc. I really, really don't want to have to spend... 400 pounds on this box 400 pounds would be ridiculous again if we put this into context here in japan it's thirty-five thousand yen that should be 190 quid pretty much dead on 190 quid that's what i should be spending on this box if it comes in as a 400 pound product that is going to be very disappointing given the whole it's double what it should be, but we, we don't know that yet, so this is kind of extrapolation. We don't have the information. Let's just hold on a little bit. So, yeah. 
<laughs> this is going to be an interesting one. Like I say, this information comes from GameStop. It is not 100% confirmed yet. It's come from P uh, Pokemon TZ Saver. Did find this for us, and now we're going to have to wait and see. Is it real? Is it legit? Is it really going to be $400? I do think that is going to put some people off. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to know what you think about this, and I want to know if you would spend this much. So let me know in the comment section. Got us. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about Pokemon and card games and Pokemon card games, all kinds of fun things. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.